if I record it? I'm like a little kid in a candy store here. Good. <laughs> Ooh. This is 310 horsepower and four bladed prop, huh? Yeah, for altitude. When you get up high, three blades just don't have quite enough. Yeah, I was gonna say you guys don't. Eventually they'll break, so you gotta make sure that. Yeah, we put double, double, um, double uh, springs on the trainer. So is this like the shop aircraft that you use yeah, for demo this flights, is, or? This is actually a guy by the name of Mohammed. This is his airplane. Oh, okay. And so, uh, and he allows us to use it for demos and stuff. So. Do you have an extra headset? I didn't bring yeah, mine. There. Okay. Those, those are blue ones, sir. Yep, I see him. Yep. Passenger here. Yeah, make sure that uh, you don't have the uh, aux yellow battery charger thing stuck in the hole. Put a battery tender on it? No. Oh, what are you talking about? I think you plug in to here yeah. to put the battery cables on to, to charge it. Yeah. Sometime, if you leave that on, you can't see it on a walk around. Yeah. You look up under there. So you're going to make it. So I put a flag on the last one. Yeah. Because so, I've done that. It took off with it stuck up in there. And then you make sure the pin's engaged in your shimmy damper. That's a, that's a little Scott dampener and it's yep. got a fork and a pin right there. So oh, nice. Engaged. Okay, yeah. And then uh, you set the spring dampeners, which are right there, yep. for like the crown, or just enough friction for the crown. Yep. So it doesn't fall off. And then you, that's your regular damper. And this is adjustable. Right there, the adjusting screw right there. There's several different adjustments. And then again, the screws on this elevator. And we're good to go. This is awesome. No seals on these doors yet. I've ordered them. I got the seals I got for this one. I put these on. Okay. These are ear seals. So this is the ear seal stuff, but it's not in right now. So it's just no seals. Was it like a little pressurized thing yeah. that actually it's seals on them? The on? Door. Yeah, it's on the door, and it, when you close it, latch it, it pressurizes okay. and seals it. And you do that even though it's not a pressurized airplane, huh? Correct. It's just to make no no leaks in the door. Interesting. Looks up nice that way. Okay, so I've got this. Yeah, one. I got to go pro mount right there. <laughs> yeah. So when you get in, you're gonna do a. Uh, you're gonna go left. Left foot first for you. Upside. Was it a standard? Uh... Yeah, oh, there you go. There we go. Probably, probably. Actually, you yeah, that's, more, that's more than enough. You should try the uh, the twin. It has everything set as low as you can get it. Yep. You set the uh, 91 Victor Tango in there when you get around to it. I hate to do a, a demo down low because it's just, you, know, you can't get the feel of the airplane when it's bumpy, so I'll get out. So hopefully I can find a place to get up above it. Oh, well, whatever did, you're comfortable I did, I did, with. I, yeah. I did this once, and it got, I went through a little hole. Then I had to search for another, another one. He got sick. Oh, geez. He, won't get sick. he was a newbie, kind of a newbie. So I, I, was, I was on base to find him when he was about ready to throw up, so I had to reach him. So I'm flying like this, reaching back behind my seat oh, in the geez. back. All right, here we are. Okay, you got your headset there. Get your seat belt. And you got to pull really slow on the inertia. Kind of pull, pull it slow because it's really a sensitive inertia. There we go. And then I like to pull this down in the corner down there. 
What are, you, what are you pulling down in the corner? I pull this, the belt loop here down oh, over okay. here. Yeah, so it goes across your chest. So it's a nice three point. Gotcha. Master switch on. Fuel pump on for about quite a bit. It's cold blooded engine, so leave it on for like six seconds. Clear prop.
So after cruising around at a higher altitude for a little bit, doing steep turns and shallow turns and descents and descents and basically really getting a feel for the plane, we decided to go down low along the uh, shoreline. This is the eastern coast of Florida, of Sebastian, northern Florida. And uh, did a couple of low passes. Well, I suppose we could legally go over the local pier there. That was a lot of fun. People always like, whoa, cool plane.